Hi, I'm Elizabeth Laveau with About.com Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make frosting filled cupcakes. They're really similar to your favorite store bought snack cakes, only better. To make these cupcakes, you will need one dozen chocolate cupcakes, either homemade or from a mix, one tub of vanilla frosting, and one tub of chocolate frosting, but don't use the whipped variety. A piping bag fitted with a coupler and a small round tip if you have them. If you don't, you could use a plastic bag with a hole cut in the corner. If you're using a piping bag, the first step is to fit it with a coupler and fill it with the vanilla frosting. The next step is to hollow out the center of the chocolate cupcakes. There's two ways to do this. One option is to take a small serrated knife and cut a hole in the top of the cupcake at an angle, removing a cone-shaped piece, and cut the excess from the top of the cone. You now have a nice hollow chocolate cupcake. Using a piping bag or a spoon, fill the inside of the cupcake with vanilla frosting. Put the lid back on and firmly press down. If you use this method, I recommend freezing them for about 10 minutes so they firm up and the tops won't fall off when you dip them in glaze. The alternate method is faster, but a bit sloppier. Use a tool to poke a hole in the center of the cupcake. I use a knife sharpener, but you could even use a clean pencil. Poke all around, creating a hole for the frosting to fill. Insert the tip of a piping bag and squeeze to fill the hole. Gradually pull it up and wipe any extra from the top. Don't worry, the glaze will cover the white frosting. Now it's time to glaze the tops. Transfer the chocolate frosting to a measuring cup, mug, or any tall, narrow container. Microwave it in five second intervals until it is melted and very smooth, stirring after every five seconds so it won't overheat. It will probably take 15 to 25 seconds to get it at the right consistency. When it's ready, it will be very smooth and fluid and have the consistency of liquid glue. Take a cupcake and dip the top in the melted frosting, turning it to ensure it's evenly coated. Lift it from the frosting and hold it upside down, swirling it slightly to let the excess drip back into the cup. Once it's stopped dripping, you can turn it right side up and set it aside and repeat with the remaining cupcakes. After all the cupcakes are glazed, the final step is to add the signature white curlicues. If you're using a pastry bag, fit it with a small round tip. Pipe a series of small loops that touch each other across the top of your cupcake. If you don't have a pastry bag, this can easily be done with a plastic bag with a small hole cut in the corner. Just don't squeeze too hard and burst the bag at the seams. These cupcakes look awesome, they taste great, and the frosting center is a fun, unexpected surprise. You could even change things up by using cream cheese frosting, marshmallow cream, or any other frosting flavor on the inside. Any way you make these, they are amazing. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit us on the web at food.about.com.